the Moonfang Dragon. Oh yes! Hell yeah, we got our first secret rare. And wow, she is a cutie! She is a cutie! However, comma, the secret rare for this card is a whopping... What's up guys? Welcome back to another epic unboxing. In today's video, we have the introduction of the brand new booster. The brand new booster after all these years, even though it's been a couple of months actually. But it is the legacy of destruction. You need to say it with an epic voice. Legacy of destruction. Maybe better, I don't know. I could probably do it better, but whatever. We are here because we are opening this booster box. Now, before I get started, I want to do a quick little side note here. I looked into maybe doing a future versus of this pack versus the Legacy of Darkness. Now, it's an older set back in 2003, actually. I'm trying to get a hold of some packs right now. Hopefully, they're unweighted, but we'll see if that makes a pretty epic uh, versus for those two because it is a Legacy of Legacy of Versus. And we'll see which, of course, is better, the past or the present. Probably the past. But nevertheless, guys, we are here with Legacy of Destruction. Let's talk about the high value cards from this set. Obviously, you want the quarter century secret rares. Uh, the number one right now, as of this recording session, obviously prices change every single day. But the number one right now is Darudas, the final bringer of the end times. And then that is currently at the price of $199.90. Now these are pre-release prices, by the way. So obviously I got these sets way ahead of schedule, even though I release these videos a week late. But those are the prices as of today. Number two is the Central Ion Oxila, Oxila? at $179.95. Obviously another quarter century rare. The number three spot hold is Nightmare Throne, which is actually easy for me to pronounce finally, at $174.95. Now, will these prices help like hold up for like you know the future? Maybe the quarter century rares. And of course, we're getting to the final times, the final, I guess, phases, the final packs of the 25th anniversary sets. I, I don't expect to see any more 25th anniversary branding after, I assume, after the Rarity Collection Part 2, which of course is in the works as well. Um, I guess without further ado, there's no drill. Press a like for luck. All right, guys, let's do this. Be careful with the scissors. I think I did it terribly, but it's fine. It works. All right. So the silent, the silent strikes. So let's check out the little box real quick before we actually open it. But uh, cool little dragon there, bro. Cool little dragon. I'm assuming that to be a bring, the final bringer. I assume. These are brand new cards, obviously, into the meta. Um, I haven't got a chance to watch any other videos right now to kind of talk a little bit about it. But I like to do these videos, obviously, blind and whatnot. And uh, yeah. And we'll see how it goes. If I can open it properly. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There he is. Obviously, only one pack design as per usual. I, I don't know why they do that, but it is what it is. We're going to start on the right side and then we'll flip to the left side. As you guys watch my previous, I do split these videos in half, but because we are doing that versus, as I mentioned in the intro, the other 12 packs will be displayed for that versus. Now, if we don't pull anything too, too crazy here, it might be crazy there, which you know will, will be needed, will be needed especially going against the first edition of the 2003 pack. But yes, one pack design, same same thing as the, the box art. But yeah, let's do this thing. And um, obviously the reason why I do these, uh, what is it called, the, the splitting of half a pack is because nowadays packs are expensive, man, really is. And I'm, I'm trying to maintain a profitable business. Profitable is the key word there. Um, but yeah, we, we're starting out with the gruesome Grave sc scrimmer, skirmish. But yeah, I'll try to hold the, the cards a little bit longer so you guys can like pause the video and rate it. Uh, that was one of the complaints I had from a previous commenter. I don't like show the cards long enough to you know, uh, like unblur it, I guess, or clear it out. We have the Tempai Dragon Kundra. I think that's the new uh, new meta there, new uh, archetype. Um, if the Cyros, the circular uh, sprite. The return of the Valmonica 
in Varterra. I think that was in, in the previous set as well. On the collector's rare set. The Gold Ghoul, the Steel Simp Simpmic <laughs> Smasher. Sure, I'm pronouncing this excellently, by the way. Uh, simultaneous e Equation Cannons. The Reframe, the Melodicious melod <laughs> Songstress. Yeah, that one. A lot of words in that one. A lot of words. Uh, Sankapai by Bent by Dent Dragon, and we get a first ultra rare here. Yes, the Gadget Rio. Oh yes, ultra rare baby. Being that these are pre-release prices, it's probably going to be quite a few dollar bills, and in the versus round, it would be a couple of points. This is number four. Number four. Um, <laughs> as high as I thought. It would have been at least one point in like in a versus match, but yeah, this is only a dollar and 58 cents for an ultra rare. Not very good. For what I saw from the little price um, estimates, th the only ones that are really like high value will be secret rares and the quarter century rares, obviously. There's a few ultra rares maybe, but um, you know, not much, not much. All right, let's do pack number two. We have the Rag Narareka, <laughs> Nakareka, Samurai Beetle. The font is just getting smaller and smaller there, guys. This one's even smaller. <laughs> we have the Bacan, uh, Bicus, the, the Milius, Mar Marja, <laughs> Maestra. Yeah. We have the Wise. The Light Sworn Archfiend. I can actually pronounce that one perfectly. Equally small font for the um, text there. The Double Dai. In Papa's Footsteps. Oh, that's adorable. That's adorable. Valmonica Disarmia. <laughs> Valmonica Disarmania. Yeah. I think that's how you pronounce it. You don't come here for the pronunciation, guys. So I, and I, if, if, it like, if it's something that you guys despise, I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. I, I can't read, apparently. Uh, but light, the Light Swarm uh, Aegis. Go ahead and correct me in the comments down below. You know, that, that's what the comments are for. To correct and say how idiotic I am. Um, the Isa the Dragoness of Deranged Devotion. Ooh. Sounds like a devotion or a stalker. And we have a super rare omen here. The rekindling of the ashen. Probably not worth much points or much dollars, you say. It's not a versus, not a versus. All right, this is only 39 cents. 39 cents for a super rare. I don't believe there's any like high value commons or super uh, supers. Well, sorry, commons, I should say. Um, but um, if those are high valued and I missed them, I do apologize. But more than likely they're not. But speaking of high value, if you guys want to protect those high value stuff, a segue into our sponsor for today's video, Gem Loader. Yes, these boys right here protect those booster boxes, as well as getting those acrylic cases to protect your packs as well, or individual cards. These are some examples of that pack right there. Obviously, very, very cool. It has the magnetic little closer okay <laughs> i don't know how do you describe it all right nice and fitted there obviously protects it beautifully for his high value especially for the legacy of darkness which currently like a first edition booster box is currently it's sitting at around twenty five three thousand dollars whoo if you have a booster box for edition keep that protected using these right here. But yeah, guys, go check the link down below. It does help support the show, whether you're protecting your packs, your cards, whatever the case is, and to give you packs, openings, and box openings like this in future videos. And thank you again for clicking and supporting us, giving videos like this every single week, uh, whether unboxings or versus. But yeah, back to some more pack reviews. All right, let's do this thing. So far, only one Ultra, and it wasn't even that good of an Ultra. So hopefully we can get maybe a super Super? No, sorry, a secret. Sorry. <laughs> secret rare or the quarter century secret rares. 
We don't want a super. No, not, 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 not at all. So we have the Ragnar Erotica Mantis Monk. The Velmonica in we, we saw we saw this one earlier as well. The gruesome grave, we saw this as well. We're seeing dupes already. We have the Dino Valtis Valtos Doc Docus. Is it a dino card? Yeah, bring some bring us some dinos. I forgot what the guy's name was in the anime that had the dino cards. Um, but yeah, he was pretty cool. Uh, the cooling embers. Embers. The Ragnos, <laughs> whatever. The skeleton soldiers. The Citron Ion Gladiator 2. I wonder where the Gladiator 1 is. Uh, Memento Lan Twin Dragon. And a super rare here, uh, the Supreme King Z-Arc uh, Synchron Universe. It's a long name for a super rare only. Numero 100, ooh, way in the back. All right, this is only 38 cents. All right. Now, as I open up and uh, put these uh, forward to the back, I do have a couple of like announcements um, that I want to talk about, like uh, future videos that are in the pipeline. So I'm very excited to show that towards the end of the video. We have the Tenpa Dragon, makes a return. The Couplet, the Songstress makes a return, I believe. Unless that might be new, I've, I've seen a bunch of those already. We have the Sinful Spoils Subduel. Tenpai Dragon Kundra. The Talons of Sherlane, Sherry Lane, <laughs> something like that. Dome of the Earthbound Spirit. The Ancient Gear Advance. In Papa's Footsteps. Saw the one already. Uh, and then we have a super rare again. We have the Goblin Biker Troika. Dreyer? Dreyer? Something like that? Faulty full. This one is 34 cents. That's why super rares so far have not been super great. Let's see if we can get another ultra rare up in here. Or else in that in that versus coming up, we might actually have some decent potentials. Because usually what it is, like a, what I noticed is that either on the left side, the right side, and like like maybe the back two, the back three is when we get like the super crazy cards and um but so we're not so in this particular one we're not sure if the left but the right side or is going to be better but normally the right side is usually pretty good but uh, sometimes the left side does surprise me being a lefty myself left side is the best side i'm just kidding <laughs> we have the ancient gear commander The Goblin Biker Grand Pipe Up. Oh, Pile Up, I should, I should say. This one is really small, but this is the Makazuri no Yab Yaba, the Moonfang Dragon. I think I pronounced it perfectly. It looks pretty cool, actually. I, I like the artwork. We have the Deranged Devotion makes a return. I'm telling you, it's, that devotion to come back. The Extinguishing of the Asbin. Ashen, I, I think. The Talons Mixed of Return. And we do get another super rare here. The Dandy White Whitey on or something like that. Looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> Speaking of Pokemon, I do have an announcement for that as well. I do have a couple of packs I want to open for Pokemon series one of these days. This one is 45 cents only. All right. And I believe the next pack after this coming out is, uh, I want to say it was the Rarity Collection too, but I'll definitely let you know once I uh, look it up. <laughs> Ooh, we have a waifu card here with the Christian Witch. Looks cute, looks adorable of the outfit. The Stronghold of the Hidden Fortress. The Ancient Gear Tanker. 
the Wiest, uh, we saw this one early as well. Wies or Wes? I think it's Wes, maybe. The Cooling Embers. Saw that one as well. We have the, the Concerto. Concerto. The Light Swarm Ages. Agents. I think. The Valmonica Disarming. Armica. <laughs> so. Oh, we have a super right here. This is actually kind of a cool looking card, even though it's only a super. The Tempai Dragon uh, Paldra. Pedra. That looks very cool, actually. I like the way it looks. That might look better as an ultra rare. Or actually, no, you know what? You know what? It'd be better as a ghost rare. The, the, like the artwork, the way it looks. I, re I really like it. It's a number 16. Whoa, really? What? For a super rare? What? Holy crap, guys. Obviously, the price will probably go down as more, more of these come out. But as of this recording session, this card that looks pretty badass is $16.06 for a super. What? That is stupid. Again, that price is probably going to go down severely because a super rare is not that hard to get, right? So that price will definitely go down, but that is very surprising. But it does look, like I said, very, very cool. Just for that, I, I gotta read it now. I gotta read it. Alright. So if this card is normal or special summon, you can add you can add it to your hand or set one uh, Sengen spell trap from your deck. You can only use this effect of uh, Tempai Dragon once per turn. You take no damage. Wait, you take no battle that what? From battles involving your fire dragon once per turn during your battle phase, you can quick effect, which is immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon using this card. That's why it's so useful. That's actually really strong for a super. Wow. So it basically takes no battle damage from any battles involving a fire monster, which is fire dragon monster, which is actually pretty useful a lot of a lot of cool fire dragons are obviously uh printed um so it's definitely good for those fire dragon meta decks and the fact that you can secret summon using this card as well what now i see the value now i see the value and it also makes sense why a buddy of mine uh zeo is working on getting a, a tempai dragon deck built just for just for that meta and just for that uh, uh archetype damn 16 bucks. I'm curious to see what that price is going to be like, you know, like a week or two weeks later. Maybe a year later. I don't know. I've been doing a lot of year later series as well. So if you guys have been enjoying those, it seems like you are. And I definitely want to do more of the year later series. Um, but uh, obviously, there's not a lot of packs that came out last year that I want to reopen. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Uh, we have the we have the Mestra again. I think we saw this one already. The couplet of the songstress. We definitely saw that one for sure. The armored lizard. We have the tempai dragon Phydra. Phydra. So that is okay. It's only twenty six cents for that one. I was just curious if, if all the tempai dragons are high value. The tandrum toddler. It's like my son Hunter. The Runga tandrum. It's like it's like those terrible twos is what they call it. Yeah, he's been like rage quitting every like like various things. Like he he'll, he'll try to like put like like toys or whatever outside of the the, do the doggy door. And if it doesn't fit through the doggy door, he gets like so mad. But then again, he's putting stuff through the doggy door. It's like stop doing that. <laughs> Keep it inside. Keep your toy inside. But he's got to play right. We have the simple spoils of slum uh, slumber, 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 slumber. Yeah, slumber. Um, we have the Skeleton Soldier, makes a return. And I dropped the card, but it's fine, it's only a common. We have the Sinful Spoils Str Struggle. And we do pull our second Ultra Rare. And this was actually really cool too. This actually looks very cool. This is the Silent Soldier Zero. This actually might be worth something maybe, because I've, for some reason, um, I'm hearing a lot of things about the, the Silent Soldier stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what what the 
what the TCG player says. Number two, decently priced, decently priced. There is a uh, a secret rare version, which is actually worth only a dollar more, which is not that bad. But the ultra rare version is four dollars and sixty four cents, and that is of course one point. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If it was a, it was, if it was five dollars, it would have been worth two points. But that is still a cool ultra rare. Still, that super rare surprised the heck out of me. So, who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? But with a thing like that, I don't blame it. That that that, that card. That's why I said the card should have been an ultra. Like it felt like it should have been an ultra or already a secret. But with that kind of effect, but I don't know. We'll see. We have the double dying. The blink out. The Kairos, the circular sprite. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I gotta duplicate the same pack? I never seen that before happen. Wow. A duplicate in the same exact pack. That is some bull diggity. <laughs> Norm you normally don't see that. What the jeez? The uh, Sangapai Biden Dragon. Uh, Zoma the Earthbound Spirit. Have you guys ever seen that before? I don't know. The General Dweller. And the Hunting Dance. And then we have a super rare, which also looks pretty cool. It's the spearhead of the Ashen City. Looks very cool. I like the artwork a lot. Number 91. This one is only 35 cents. A duplicate card in the same exact pack. What's the world coming to, guys? Come on, Konami. Come on. All right, we have the Haggard Laser Dose. Lizard Dose, a laser. Lizard Dose. The gob Goblin Biker. Ancient Gear Tanker. Bring it back to Ancient Gears, I remember that. that. That probably came out in the original Legacy packs, right? I would imagine. I don't know. Maybe maybe uh, the editors can help me out there. We have the Blink Out. Simultaneous uh, Equation Cannons makes a return. The Light Sworn Arch, which is a, has terrible centering. I normally like the centering more so when I actually put it in my binders than uh, the actual pack opens themselves. But if it's like obvious, then yeah, I'll point it out. We have the we have the tantrum, which is a uh, kind of fitting because I just threw a tantrum. We have the cooling uh, uh, embers, which is also ter terrible centering, top to bottom. And a super rare here, which also looks very cool. I'm actually liking this art, uh, these uh, these dragons, these, these dragons. It looks so cool with the colors and everything. We have the Sankapai trans uh, tran transcendent dragon, I guess. Transcendent. Look, look at the, look at the colors. This feels like something you would see in like, well, maybe not exactly like a Pokemon, but like the rainbow art designs, kind of, sort of. That makes any sense, at least to my eyes. To a certain degree, I'll also like, you know, like 45% similar. I'll give it that. Number 40, wow, another one that's very high for a super rare. And again, I, I can see why, because it looks so cool. And it's probably a pretty good effect as well, which I'll definitely read. But this one is $3.09 for a super rare. What is up with these super rares? That is insane. All right. I was that's the price as of today, but still very, very cool. All right, I'm going, to, I'm going to read this effect, this secret card here. Obviously, it's a Dragon Synchro effect card. It requires one Dragon Tuner, uh, one um, plus one non-Dragon Tuner. Uh, all monsters your opponent controls must attack. If able, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects during that battle phase. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can change all monsters on the field to attack position. If three or more attacks have been declared this turn, it, it, uh, it goes into this quick effect. You can special summon this card from your graveyard. Then you can destroy one card on the field. You can only use this effect once per duel. So I can see how this can be useful. Yeah. Okay. But again, another super rare that's like high value. Interesting. All right. We got about three packs left. That was a terrible pack opening. 
And I do this for a living, kind of. We have the uh, dragon. Dragon, sorry, the uh, dinosaur. The dino. The, the ma maestra. Maestra. The momentalan fusion. It's another tempai dragon. Oh, yeah, we saw this one already. The Phydra. Looks pretty cool. The steel stemic um, smasher. The spoils of slumber. The extinction of the Aspen. The Moon Fang Dragon. Oh yes! Hell yeah, we got our first secret rare. And wow, she is a cutie! She is a cutie. This is a cute card. Wow. Nightmare Apprentice. It's a cute card. 29, baby, 29. Ooh, so there is, I was looking at the wrong, wrong one, but there is a quarter century variant of this card, which is $149.99, but I think that's just the pre-sale price. However, comma, the secret rare for this card is a whopping $27.45. And yes, I can see why. The card, easy to pronounce, it's a cute card. Probably has a good effect. I'm not reading it right now, but you guys can see it right there. And it's a secret rare. So yes, yeah, very cool, very cool. And that is our highest price card today. Wow. That would be useful in the verses though. <laughs> which give, which uh, gives me like a, not much hope in the verses with the Legacy of Destruction. But uh, then again, I, I, I'll talk about it a little bit right now, but the, the packs that I did get for the, the Legacy of Darkness, um, they probably aren't going to be super high value ones because uh, those are like just like loose packs and I'm pretty sure those cards have been weighted out and all that jazz and you know when cards get weighted back in the day obviously that means it has a some, some type of foil some type of, like a hollow with it, with it. I don't think you can weight cards nowadays I think they all weigh about the same however like um, there's potential that uh, I might pull something cool because there's one that guaranteed that it was not weighted but it doesn't mean that it's gonna have anything cool in it but at least i have a chance of getting a cool card uh from the legacy of darkness and it'll be the first time i ever op opened that pack as well uh, because back in 2003 at that time i kind of stopped collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards I, like give or take give or take like there, there was some from 2003 that i did collect but mostly it was it was mostly from um 2002 packs that i was i was opening uh so it'll be the first time opening up um that set and we already pulled this super rare here. We're not gonna price it out, but it's always got my back. That one go. The dandy, the dandelion. All right, final pack magic, guys. Final pack magic. Let's do this. You guys know a drill. Press a like for luck. I'm pretty sure the is gonna be a secret rare, but it's fine. It's fine. But I, I always get surprised though. Always, always get surprised. You never know. We have the uh, Sworn, the Light Sworn. The Monk. It's a new card to my collection. The, the, the White Lord. Kind of, it's a zombie, yeah. I figured it'd be a zombie type. The Civil Spoils. The Hunting Dance. Um, Ashen to Endlessness. It's a cool name, actually. The Cosento, the Sengen um, Kamen, and our last card is <laughs> it's a super rare, and it's just a, another marshmallow card called More Marshmallow. <laughs> it's probably like the dad or something, but the dad marshmallow. Probably not worth much. Number five, ending on a whimper, thirty-nine cents. But we still pulled some excellent cards, excellent cards from this pack. Obviously, there's still going to be that verse, as I've mentioned in the intro, but it's, it's going to be Legacy of Darkness versus the Legacy of Destruction. Obviously, the cards that have not opened up will be right here waiting for those other packs to arrive in the mail. I just ordered it today, actually, from this recording session because I want to do a Legacy versus to see 
old versus new and see if that's going to be an interesting video for you guys to watch as well. Some other upcoming videos is, of course, in reference to the Pokemon. I still have not yet opened up the Temporal Forces. A viewer like yourself actually sent me this box. I do apologize I have not opened it yet. It's been way too busy and a lot of things happen around the world in my personal life as well as in my business side of my life as well. So I have not yet opened this, but I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten. I'm opening the Temporal Forces in the upcoming future. The one thing I will say, I see a lot of this still like like sealed up in like Target and stuff like that, Walmart, and some of my local stores. Are people not buying Temporal Forces? This is, is not like a hype set for Pokemon. I'm just curious. That's probably why I haven't personally opened it myself. Um, but the fact that viewers sent me this to open it for you, you know, obviously I want to open it for you guys. If you do want to send me stuff to open up in a video, in a future video, I do have my PO box address down below. Send me some cool stuff to open up in a future video. If not, you know, you don't have to, but it's something to kind of help support show as well. So that way, um, you know, you don't have to click the video link, you know, you don't have to. But of course, if you do, it does support my show. And of course, the gem loaders that are sponsoring this video today as well. Oops, I forgot one thing as well. There's another video that I'm very excited for. It actually might be the next video maybe, but it is my verses that I did with my son, OTS1. Now, the reason why it's in these envelopes is because like they're individual cards, because actual packs themselves are very hard to find and also very expensive to find. So it was better to find just individuals and just buy all the individual cards from OTS and do a versus between myself and my son. So these are the cards that my son has selected. I put it on the right side of me. So, but, but obviously there's a video showing how he selected those cards and I have the remaining cards on the left side. But it's gonna be a future versus down there as well. It might be next week, I think, if my schedule is correct. Definitely tune to that one as well. And maybe we'll have a guest appearance, my boy Hunter. The rambling and self-promotion. Love you guys. I'll definitely see you in the next one. My name is Talos. This is Legacy of Destruction. And I'll definitely see you next time. Peace.